everyone, it's Kelly with My Metamorphosis and I am bringing you a super late night haul. It's 11 o'clock now in Washington State and um, I know many of you are sleeping so um, hopefully you'll be able to see this video in the morning. It's a collective haul, tiny little haul and I'm excited to bring it to you. So grab a drink, grab a snack if you're up sit back and relax and let's enjoy this collective halt together. All right, I'm gonna grab a little sip of my polar pop. <laughs> so, of course I'm drinking my Coke Zero these are from a place I've mentioned before called Circle K. Um, you know, depending on what part of the world you're in is whether you will know what those are. They're just little convenience store gas stations. So, um, I'm actually going to share some things with you. I went and grabbed a Polar Pop and... I just wanted to share a couple little um, items and kind of review a couple things and share a couple. Oh, shoot. Do I have my receipt? <clears throat> I wonder if I have my receipt. I hope so because some of these items were 50% off. Um, I think I stuck them in another bag of things that I'm not hauling yet. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you these first. I'm totally addicted. These are by Jack Lynx and they're the Doritos Meat Sticks. And this is my favorite one. Well, it's the only one I've tried. And it is um, Spicy Sweet Chili. Um, it's not that spicy, and trust me, I'm a wimp when it comes to that. So, all right. Um, I don't know how much those are. I think a dollar something. This is a couple different, um, try not to crinkle too much, a couple different Circle K trips. Actually, this is yesterday's. So, um, we ate a couple of things already. We got, oh, the little um, chicharrones. I think that's how you say it. So good. Um, Circle K has their own little brand of them. They were just a tiny little package. And um, I tried for the first time. My friend was with me, Nikki, and... Um, uh, she's like, you know the Dollar Tree has those. And I was like, oh, I've seen people haul them. They're those seven day baked goods. Now, I am not like a super bready person unless it's like fresh bread and, and butter. And I know I do a lot of bread in my meals when I do cook with me videos. Um, I do like toasted. I like, but as far as just like, just real bready stuff. I'm not like, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, I did like the filling in those. I just got the, the vanilla one or whatever it was, but the bread was, I don't know if it was like the yeast that I was tasting, but it tasted like alcohol to me. Mm -mm. I couldn't do it. I won't get another one of those, but anyway, um, and then the rest of this was on a 50% um, periodically. They have a 50% table. And I saw these and I was like, oh, Trace. So these are the Spitz sunflower seeds in the big bag. And these are the Flamin' Hot Lemon. And Trace is going to love these. I wish I could share the prices with you guys, but I think I stuck the receipt in another bag. I'll share them with you when I do that haul. Um, and then these um, are so good, you guys. 
Um, they had just the Apple ones that were 50% off. Again, I'll have to share the prices with you. And then I got these for Trace. They're the Mento Sour Gum um, in grape. You get 28 pieces in here, you guys, and they were so cheap. And then um, the strawberry. All right. So, I just, I don't have a lot of room here to work with, so bear with me. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to scare you. All right. Today's uh, Circle K trip. My Coke Zero. Another one of these. Very keto friendly if you do keto. I don't do keto, but um, Trace and I love these chips. They are the Ruffles Queso. We were feeling snacky the last couple days. And then I got one of the little uh, Tostitos Nacho Cheese Dip. This one's in medium. It was the only one they had. I don't know. It might be too spicy for me. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a wimp. And then um, I kind of squished these. I had a bunch of stuff in my arms. Um, you guys, these are ridiculously good. They're by Bon Appetit. And there's all different flavors. There's like strawberry cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake, um, chocolate, and there's like the little crumble ones. And... Um, the white powder and then these are my favorite these are the creamy caramel they don't taste like caramel but um these are so good with coffee it's ridiculous all right oh i do have a receipt for this stuff so you know of course convenience stores are not the most uh financially sound places to to buy things so that little um dip the cheese dip actually was only a dollar 39 those donuts are 329 for that pack I do not allow myself to get them very often um, and that's why plus you know the obvious reason um, okay those meat sticks are dollar 79 the ruffles queso chips 249 my polar pop was a dollar 19 um, yeah and that was all for that And this will last me like two or three days. I mean, I just eat a couple of those with my coffee at a time. All right. Then I did a little Winco run. Um, and shoot, I have this stuff in the fridge. Well, I didn't feel like cooking tonight, so um, I just did, um, and Trace um, what, is at his dad's this week, so, um, I mean, he's been popping in the last couple days here, but um, he's supposed to be at his dad's the whole week, so um, I got like a little chicken bowl. They're really good. Um, Winco is, uh, it stands for Washington, Idaho, Nevada, Colorado, and Oregon. So if you don't live in those states, I would imagine you don't have a Winco, uh, but it's really inexpensive. I'm really slouching. My back is really bothering me today. Um, so it's a very inexpensive store, grocery store, large grocery store. So I got one of those little bowls. It was only like four something. Well, it might've been five bucks, $4.99. And then every once in a while, I get this amazing dip. It's just the spinach jalapeno artichoke and it's not spicy. Um, you know, I mean, it has a little, but it's not, it's not. Um, some of them I've tried are really spicy. And then I just got the Winco foods um their little wheat thin dupes and they are just fine and <clears throat> so let me give you some prices 
Oh yeah, so I could tell you exactly how much that bowl was. So the bowl was $4.98. Um, the dip is expensive. Um, it is. That's why I only really get it every once in a while. $3.98. The crackers were $2.26. Um, one of my friends asked me to pick him up a um, thing of the Winco brand semi-sweet chocolate chips. And so... Um, I got those for him. Those were um, two thirty-two, and um, told you I'm addicted to Coke Zero. I got a Coke Zero there too earlier. Um, that was a dollar ninety-two. Um, I love these. These are like one of my favorite chocolates, and they are so inexpensive. If you know, you know. They're the Lindor Truffle, is that what they're called? Hold on. The Lint Lindor Milk Chocolate Truffle Bar. And of course they have all different flavors, but they have these often at the Dollar Tree and they have them at Winco and they are only 98 cents. Um, and, oh, and then, um, gosh, I, you know what, you guys, I started doing fetch rewards again, and I know that I have, uh, I, I can share a link with you, and I need to, I, I'll remember I really, to do it. I'm going to try to remember to do that so that I can put that, um, in the description box for you guys so that you can, um, get fetch rewards too. I don't really know how all of that works exactly when you share a link except for I've heard my YouTube sisters say that it helps you and it helps them. So, all right, now, I'm not a cotton candy person, okay? Um, maybe every once in a blue moon, if I'm at a fair or something, I might get cotton candy, but I walked by this and I was like, does that say country time? <laughs> so, it's country time cotton candy, pink lemonade, and regular lemonade mixed together. Look at this adorable package. It's quite a large thing. It was two, two forty-eight, And I'm gonna do a little taste test right here, you guys. Sometimes I forget I can do that. How ridiculous. I. You know, I, I don't know why, but it's like, let's just do it right now while we got it on here. Got it here right in front of me. So this is what it looks like inside. Oh, does that look like someone's fingerprint? <laughs> oh no, hold on. You guys. I'm scared. Look. Oh my gosh, are you guys dying right now? Does that not look like three fingerprints? Okay. So, when I opened it, I mean, it didn't seem like it, you know, you pro you heard it popping. It's got this weird little lip right here that was sealed. I don't know, you guys. I mean, I didn't really pay too much attention, but I don't think that it was already open. I mean, it wasn't, it didn't just pop off of there. Now, this could be... I mean, they gotta get it in there somehow, right? Which I would imagine would be by a machine. Let's pretend that somebody had gloves on and like pushed it down in there. But I can't, you guys, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is just super weird. Hold on, I'm looking at it closer. 
is it just me? Except for, it's not, it's like one short finger, one tall finger, one short finger. So that doesn't seem right. Can't smell anything. I don't know. I mean, if you look right here, like there's little divots there too. I don't know. That's just too weird, you guys. I'm so sorry. I am, some of you may be like <sighs> breathing right now because I didn't eat that. And then some of you might be like, oh my gosh, Kelly, don't be weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was an epic fail. Okay. All right, moving on. Um, I did not realize, because like I told you, my room is in an upheaval right now, um, that I missed a Dollar Tree bag. But I also believe that I missed this bag. And if I'm wrong, because there's one little thing from Big Lots, please forgive me. Um, so, we're going to do a little, we're going to add a little Dollar Tree in here. Yeah, see, I may have done these two items. But just in case, I'm going to do them anyway. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so, I got one of these little galvanized metal. In fact, I'm almost positive I did. Uh, lighthouses. So, you guys... I've heard me say many times that we have the beach theme. Um, and uh, I've got one little bag of Dollar Tree and then I'll show you that one um, lonely little item from Big Lots that I'm hoping I didn't show you. All right, so I know I definitely did not show you guys these. So these are in the teaching tree section, like the, where all the teachers get their stuff or homeschool mamas, excuse me, and dads get their stuff. But anyway, they're incorporating a lot more than just the primary colors. So I don't know how well you can see this. I apologize for the glare, but it's a beautiful purple. And let me open it up and show you. I can find the opening. Guys, I gotta turn my fan on. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, here we go. So, I got this for storage. Um, and my little tri um, rolling cart that's next to my bed. It's a very narrow, like, mm, like that, like that narrow, maybe that, no, maybe bigger than that, like that narrow probably, um, is metal. And so I was just, cause this has, um, magnets. I was just going to set this on, or, you know, like put it on the side of it. Um, and then maybe just like put the remote in here so the remote doesn't get lost or or whatever um and then it's um it closes with um gosh you guys i'm sorry um um, um with velcro and then it's see-through there so there's that and then i got um Another one, I'm not gonna open it, but um, it's in red because our kitchen is red. And um, it's for the side of our refrigerator and I'm gonna put our, um, dry erase markers on there because we have a little dry erase board um, on, our, on our fridge. All right. Did I get one or two of these? Hold on. Okay. Um, got one of these um, for the elbow. I got this for Sutton, my 20-year-old. And this is, you know, we all know it's a great brand, Copper Care, for the elbow. 
Um, he has like something going on and has had something going on with his elbow for a while and he's getting it all checked out and stuff but um, I can't remember the name of it but he did mention something that the doctor thought it might be um, but anyway like it like clicks and it gets I mean everyone's does that a little bit right but it, like it gets stuck sometimes and stuff and so and he works at Walmart he's been there for a couple two plus years and um he does the um, OGP, the OGP, <laughs> the online grocery pickup. So, I mean, like, he's constantly, like, you know, lifting and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, I got this for him, but I guess he had bought one. So, we'll just have that as a backup for him. And um, I was so excited to find these. Um you know, I love it that they're coming out with the new colors. For a long time, they just had the blue and the white. Um, and so now they have, and these are wonderful because you get three in there. You can use them for whatever. These are going to go on my little um, uh, rolling cart that I was talking about. And then three of the gray. So three of the aqua, three of the gray. And um, I'm definitely going to have some in that cart. And then I'll use others for different places. Kitty hair. And then I bought these as well, and you get three of those also. So, oh baby, what is, oh her eyes, she looks so tired. Baby, are you so tired? You guys, I'm so excited that I found these. They do not often have these, so she knows what they are. They used to come in a box. They now come in a bag. These are the peanut butter. Um, they do have like chicken and beef or mixed or something like that. Um, it's a huge bag. It's 16 ounces. You want a peanut butter bone? Yeah? Oh. All right, guys. You're such a good girl. You guys, I'm so bummed about that cotton candy. Am I weird? Are you yelling yes at me through the TV or phone? Oh, Kitty's like, excuse me. I'm in trouble. Usually I get them each a treat at the same time. I'm gonna, she has treats, so I'll have to go get her one. Are you such a good girl? Oh, yes. Good girl. Kitty, mama get you a treat. Hold on. And I love it that they have them in these little resealable bags now. All right. Oh, you already know. Okay, it's ridiculous. Okay. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with these. They're, they're the chocolate covered almonds. They have chocolate covered peanuts, chocolate covered raisins. They have peanut butter cups. I haven't tried any of the other ones. They have, I think like a turtle cluster type thing and it's by Landmark Confections. Alrighty. And I have one more thing to show you from the Dollar Tree, and then I'll show you the Big Lots um, Lonely Little Item. Kitty, do you mind getting off of that, please? No, don't you dare bite me. Oh, thank you. All right, I thought I got four of these, you guys, but I guess I got three. So they're by Toolbench, and they're the self-adhesive wall tiles. So in my kitchen, um, you know, there's like cupboards on that side up above and then up above here and of course down below and then right above the, um, the sink is, um, just one cupboard way up, but then there's like a white wall right there. And so, um, initially I was going to put these there, um, 
but I, I have pictures there. Like I have wall, oops, sorry guys. Wall, de, you know, wall art there, wall decor. Baby, no. And so I don't know. Um, you know, I mean, these are just plastic. You could, I mean, I could, you know, no, that would be weird. I can't put a picture on top of this because this is supposed to look like tile. But anyway, I love it. It's just very pretty. It's, you know, we have gray and brown and teal and red and black in our kitchen. So I got three of those. Um, I don't know if you saw, but you know, you guys have seen these before. All right. So there's those. And... Here's the lonely little thing from Big Lots. And um, I'm gonna show, well, I'll, okay, I'll show you the price after. So you guys already know I have this color in my room. Hello Sunshine, I absolutely love this. It's like a shadow box. Love the sun. Pretty sure I showed you guys this. Anyway, it was one of their clearance items and it was only $3, that was such a steal. So there's that. And that is all guys. Um, I am so happy we got to hang out. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so excited to have you here and uh, you know part of the fam as part of the fam and please comment down below so I can get to know you. Um, hit that like button you guys if you like this video if you like this sort of content it does help my channel and if you have not subscribed and you want to be a part um a permanent part of this family we would love to have you um don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video and you guys stay safe and stay blessed my butterflies and i will see you tomorrow.